Good morning, everybody. I thought I'd introduce to you um, this radio from York again, but actually working. It's on Radio Wales. It doesn't cover all the, the long wave because I've actually tried that. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the cabinet. And how I'm actually running it. There we are everyone, a good swish round. Uh, as you see there's the speaker, the radio, and inside here is the Amplion 2B. And um, there's not enough taps on the coil to get all the long wave. Even though it's got the um, letters on there, it doesn't cover it all because there's not enough coil turns on the coils of chat. So there we are ladies and gentlemen. Um, what we've got in there at the moment today, we're running a PM1HL, uh, a PM2DX and a PM1LF. I haven't got a PM2 at the moment. But it seems to be loud enough on the PM1LF. So um, we're waiting till the Puma 2 comes anyway. We're using it on an Amplion horn. This is my other set. I've not done a video on even though I've had it a long time. This is an Osram music magnet. I'm going to get a speaker and another transformer for that one. Uh, that, that one's got a beautiful receiver on. Um, but much better than the other one because obviously it's a lot newer. 1929. I went and this was made about 1926. Sort of mid-20s was the other one's 28, 29 I think. That's a much later one. So there you are ladies and gentlemen. It's only got one tuning cap, which is that one. That's variometer. The hum noise, believe it or not, is something I'm picking up in the area. Um, no, it's not. It's my um, eliminator. Because you don't get pure DC on one of those. You're just not going to do it. It's not regulated or anything. But that doesn't bother me. It's all part of having an old radio. So that's your burn selector. That would just stay in the one position. 300 to 400. That will never be used. Um, that's the, the reaction. Which is the volume. That's the grid bias. So that's the reaction. That's the band. That's the... I just put it in that there. More or less at the ends, not quite touching the end plates. That's the on and off switch. Once a bit of a clean that switch. But as you can see, it's all going now. And I'm hoping that um, I'll get to listen to Radio Wales on there. I'll try earthing it and seeing if I, I can get it to work a bit better. Um, hang on, I just made a cock up here. Hang on. I've moved the power pack and I don't want it moving off the paper. What it is, I put it on a, a, an envelope, a padded envelope. And the reason I put it on the padded envelope is because I didn't want to scratch the... Will it focus? I didn't want to scratch the bottom of the plate because I completely repolished this cabinet and I didn't want to wreck it by being silly. I like Radio Wales because they do play on Sunday nights. They play quite a lot of 20s music and 30s and 40s. It really sounds good through this. And then they play stuff from the shows and things like that up to 12 o'clock. So it was with, with um, Radio 4, it's just a load of women talking about sex or that they can't get the job they want and they're just complete, it's just turned into a moaning channel for distressed middle class women with nothing better to do. So um, even though I don't like football and I had to put up with that for a couple of hours on here and I'm uh, not into men playing with odd shaped balls, is that rugby? Anyway, goodbye everybody. I hope you enjoy the five minutes of the um, 
um, this um, radio. It's Alec who made it. Electrical shop in Yorkshire. So this was bought as a kit and built and, so and it's sold in an electrical shop. It wasn't somebody's something made at home and cobbled together.